Hi, I'm Jason Blevins. I'm here with Cindy Kallenberg and Ajay Premkumar. Uh, we're going to go over some basics on instruments for hip replacement, uh, starting with brooches, reamers, and some of the retractors and saws that we commonly use. All right, so we have uh, several retractors here. Uh, this is a C retractor, uh, which we commonly use here at HSS for a posterior approach. Uh, we use this on the over the anterior wall, the acetabulum, uh, for exposure of the acetabulum. This is an O-Frank retractor uh, that we use commonly uh, inferiorly for acetabular exposure, as well as along the femoral calcar for our femoral side exposure. This is a thin bent Homan. We use this in knee replacement and hip replacement uh, sometimes. Uh, each of these have pointed ends. Uh, saws, we have, this is called a sagittal saw, uh, right, it goes side to side. A uh, number of different blades we use for hip and knee replacements. Um, in this case, we would use this blade for the neck cut of a hip replacement. Another option that uh, many surgeons use is a reciprocating saw. Uh, so it goes up and down. And in this case, it has uh, cutting teeth only on one edge. Also used for the neck cut. Moving on to brooches. Uh, so brooches have uh, sharp cutting edges. Uh, they have different designs based on the implant, uh, but they match uh, the shape of the final femoral implant. Uh, in this case, this is the lateral aspect or towards the uh, lateral aspect of the trochanter, and this, this side goes along the medial calcar. Um, all these attach to the handle in different ways, but in general, they commonly have a lever uh, that then grabs onto the male portion of the, the brooch and locks into position. And this is the strike plate for the, the mallet uh, that you use to use the brooch, okay? For the, the brooch and the brooch handle, uh, they have different offsets. Um, at the end, there is a strike plate, which you strike with the mallet uh, once you're in position and holding the, in the correct rotation and varus valgus position, then you strike the end of the, of the brooch handle with your mallet. This is a reamer, all right? Uh, most reaming systems have a similar setup. Uh, they have a detachable uh, reamer, which is a sub-hemispherical. Um, they have the size written on there, and to latch them on, most of them you pull back on the collar and rotate it into place. Okay. Um, the white guard is what you can hold on with your left hand commonly, depending on your left hand or right hand at which side you're reaming. Uh, you, for, when you're reaming the acetabulum, you want to make sure that you're on ream rather than drill, okay? And then you pull the, the bottom trigger to go forward, top trigger to go backwards. That is specific to whichever one you're using, right? That's just for striker eight. There are other drills you use throughout your training. Um, so it's good to test that first before you actually use it, right? Um, the grip, you wanna have a firm grip on the, the reamer handle, uh, protective guard, to control your position of your reamer in space and then your trigger uh, when you're ready to go, okay? And that's it for hip uh, commonly used retractors and instruments.